Welcome back to Dave's Gone By on AM 1240 WGBB Freeport and AM 1240 WGBB.com. Time for a segment called Dave's Got Guests. And uh, I have three guests in the studio with me today. It's, it's going to be a fun segment. We're going to start with, with uh, John DeVito. Now, you may not know this man's name, and uh, but you probably, if you have cable TV, know his face and his voice because he's on every single week. And he has a public access show on Long Island Cable, and it's called Let's Make a Movie. And that's exactly what he is not only doing, but trying to show other people how to do. He's got his video camera, and he's got the manuals, and um, I think it's his wife who actually runs the, the camera on him, and he goes to various places and parks and stuff and talks about how to go about making movies and, and doing public access television. So... It's a really cool and unusual and interesting show. So I thought I'd have him on my show, along with some other folks who are allied with him and uh, doing some other shows of their own. So first, I want to welcome to the neighborhood, Mr. John DeVito. Hey, John. Thank you, Dave. Thank you. Hi, everybody. This is me, John DeVito. Those of you who are in the Woodbury and part of Suffolk County, you know who I am. Let's make a movie. Otherwise, you're sitting on your hands or what? Now... As of right now, what we're doing right now, we have a friend of mine, two friends of mine, both of them are Johns, John Ambrosio and John McGrath. We have, we have more Johns in the studio than a good whorehouse tonight, so it's, it's really in, in good... Uh, this is true. Yeah. Uh, to make a long story short, uh, John McGrath does a co-host with uh, Gary Costanza on, and those of you who are in the... Uh, was it Woodbury and uh, uh, was it Hop-Hog uh, Cable? Hop-Hog and uh, what is it Brookhaven too? Brookhaven Woodbury. Right. How about Ridge, Riverhead? You're not there. Uh, I believe we're in, we're going to be in Riverhead very shortly, and we're in Manhattan also. All right. So you're going to be in Manhattan. Good. Uh, I'm still here in wonderful downtown uh, Nassau County and uh, Woodbury. Also, I brought my friend John Ambrosio. John is a playwright, and he's written a thing about his own life of sorts. But uh, I told him we're not going to use his real name because that's how you end up getting sued by using your <laughs> real name unless you feel like using it. All right. Well, well, these are these are the three folks we got. We've got John DeVigo, um, who hosts Let's Make a Movie. We've got John McGrath, who hosts another show called Men's Forum, and we will be talking to him about that. And scriptwriter. John Ambrosio. Now, first of all, let, let me, again, start with John and ask you how you went about getting, um, for, first of all, thinking of an idea for a public access program and then going out and actually doing it. All right. What happened was I was watching public access all for a while. And then I was told, come down to the studio and go there and get yourself training. For those of you who have seen my show, who haven't, in front of me right now is the Cable Vision Public Access Training Workshop. There are 74 pages, basically how to do a TV show, and and basically how to do a film, uh, like a film, like a regular film. For example, they give you, like, wardrobes, Okay. What, what kind of wardrobe you might need, teleprompting and types of prompters, what you might need. And they give you uh, what they call jargon, okay? For example, mm-hmm. a pan. Now, pan means you uh, go left, you go right, and that's like trucking. Uh, let me see. It's right here. Let me see. It's right here. Okay. Pan. Moving the camera horizontally. Tilt. You go up, you go down. Dolly. You put them on wheels and you follow the subject. Trucking. You move it sideways, you go up and down. All this you learn in how to, how to become a TV producer or a movie producer. I mean, it's a course that you take. It is a free... A free course. It's six weeks. Mm-hmm. It's four hours... But here's what you have to do. You have to get sponsors. You have to get people to work with. You have to get a crew. Like both Johns who are in front of me right now, I'm working with John on his TV show. 
And that, that would be John McGrath. John McGrath on him and nice co-host uh, as uh, on a men's subject. In my other life, people, I was a counselor, and I have proof of that too because I've taken a counseling course. And John saw that. He says, "Would you like to be a counselor on my on my show?" I said, "I'll have to get a suit then." He said, you're, you're, "That's what you're trying to tell me." He says, "Yeah, you got to get a suit. You got to wear it." D- dare I ask what you were counseling in? Um, would I it be a non vets or what? Or no, I was doing it basic counseling. In other words, for people who had alcohol problems, oh. drug problems. I had a, a, a course that I picked up. It was like two basic courses: how to have counseling, basically how to you know, not get in somebody's head, but to get them out of their own heads to make them feel like they're humans. It was cool. like a quick little course. So I showed this to John, and John says, man, this is wild. How long is this? I said, it's like 30 lessons for each one of them. But I says, it, it's really basically you have to use a little common sense. Mm-hmm. Now, John Ambrosio, he's he been calling my show. And he wanted to write something about his own life. And I said, more or less, I said, you have to stay away from that because right now the, people get a little crazy. Let's go back to what we were saying before about cable vision. Okay. Uh, not to get off the track. I need volunteers. I need help. All right? Well, I need cameramen. I need uh, people to work the, uh, what do you call that, John, uh, the board? The, the audio board. Oh, the audio board. Uh, I need somebody. Need sound I, men when you need Sound men. I need people to. Now, mind you, all this you learn for free. You could even take a camera out on 10 o'clock the next day, but you have to bring it back and re sign it again to take it out again if no one is not using it or something. You could get the camera. You have to buy your own tapes. You got to find your own sponsors. Well, well, the, the actual airtime is free. I mean, sponsorship is nice if you want to make some money, but I don't think cable vision charges you for no, it. No, they don't right. charge. They don't charge it, but you have to get sponsors. You have to get people to uh, work with you. So you need you need money for uh, you know operating your for own the personal for the stuff, right? Yeah, your for tapes gas and your props and, and right. uh, you know any any additional stuff that's not covered by. Uh, my cable vision themselves. Well, let me let me ask about your show, John McGrath. You you have a show called Men's Forum. That's on. Is it on Long Island Nassau Cable? Where is it? When is it on? First of all, it's on uh, Monday night in uh, Suffolk County. Mm-hmm. Uh, Friday night in Nassau County. What's uh, the times on it? Wednesday night. Um, not. Um, you know, that's a good question. They they keep changing the times. So we have to keep uh, reissuing right. uh, new time schedules. Now, now, just tell me a little bit about Men's Forum. Uh, well, we we cover all uh, men's men's related issues. You know, any, everything from health related issues. Uh, from prostate cancer to uh, circumcisions. Oh, um, are you for them or against them? Very, very touchy, very touchy. Well, yeah, I'm, speaking. I'm against them. I mean, personally, I mean, um, I, I was circumcised myself, and it screwed me all up. I couldn't walk for a year. Now, oh, now stop that. Just a minute. Now, take a tip from me, because obviously you need one. No, but I don't know what that means. And, and you're also, though, aside from that, that show... Which you've been doing for how long? How, how long ago has that been on since? Oh, this has been running a little over a year now. We're in a second yeah. year now in production. Cool. And you're thinking about doing a second program? We have a second show that's in the works right now because uh, it's a spinoff, actually, of um, a lot of the issues uh, that were related to men where happen to be, unfortunately, uh, the divorce industry. Uh, a lot of men, fathers, mm-hmm. are going through a lot of, lot of um, difficult issues in, the, uh, in that arena. So... The new show is called An Eye on Justice. Uh, we found that there's a lot of um, not so good things happening. There's a lot of uh, uh, misconceptions of what to expect in the courtroom uh, and, in, and in that whole arena of divorce in itself. Um, hence, we have the, the merging of the two ideas of making the movie. What we want to do is put a face on um, the actual cases that we're, that we're hearing about and that we're talking about on the shows all the time. What we encourage people to do is to send copies of their um, of their complaint letters because basically, uh, as far as uh, corruption issues and uh, uh, the inequities of the court system, uh, it stems a lot of complaints, and we're hearing a lot of them through the emails to the show. Um, I can be reached 
at um, FLR now S U F F at hotmail dot com. F L R now mm-hmm. S U F F at hotmail dot com. Okay. Um, that's that stands for Family Law Reform Now. Okay. Okay, and that's uh, Family Law Reform Now dot org is a website, or you can uh, contact me at um, Ion Justice TV at Post Office Box fourteen thirty one. East Northport, New York, 11731. Uh, another thing that uh, John and I are going to do, we're going to make stories out of some of these uh, men who want to tell them. And, I, and I've talked to a lot of men. I said to them, look, we can't use your real name because you get sued. We know all about this. You know, uh, We've talked to lawyers at that. You can make up the story. You can make up the, uh, uh, to where it's, they know it's reality. Mm-hmm. So they're going to take my cameras. And I said to them, we'll take my cameras and we'll do it. I talked to John about that, and John said, it's a great idea. But we have to put it down. I says, if it's public, like if we get a judge's name, you can use the judge's name. You can. Uh, yes, you can use it, the, the right. judge's name. Mm-hmm. In other words, right, let me just hold, John, let me just clarify one <laughs> yeah. thing, because uh, the contact information I have and the information I'm looking for, mm-hmm. um, we're also, the, the show, the talk show, Eye on Justice, as yeah. well as the Men's Forum. They're, they're basically the very serious issues. And um, there is a Right to Privacy Act, and all uh, material that's sent to me, uh, to my contact information, is confidential, okay, and will not be used in the format of uh, the TV yeah. show where we're going to disclose correct. names and whatnot. Cool. Um, what I'm trying to do is to uh, collect a d- and, and form a new database where we're going to keep uh, records of... Um, of court cases, judges' names, lawyers' names, etc. There's current uh, legislation pending in Albany right now uh, as far as uh, parenting rights go, uh, shared parenting. And they're not men's specific issues. That's why we're not uh, handling it on the men's forum and we're doing a different show on it because it's, it's a, basically a gender neutral issue. Okay, so I just wanted to clarify that. I don't want anybody to panic thinking that because they send information in that we're going to take it, we're going to publicly air it all over the, all over the planet. It's not going to happen. There's a group out here in Long Island called ALR, Americans for Legal Reform, and they we have this list that they have that comes out with judges' names and lawyers' names, and it says very simply, do you have any information on these people? They've been sued four or five times, and they've won, because all of this is a matter of words of semantics. Do you have any information on these people? And it's now public now. Right. There is also a national organization that does the same thing. They give you corrupt judges and lawyers as long as it's in the public eye. In other words, the judges that he had and the judges that I've had and through my times, I can put them out because it's now public... Uh, public record. Public mm-hmm. record yeah. now. Okay. But we're, we're moving a bit away from, from right. the general topic of making movies and making public access television. And I also want to talk to John Ambrosio who's, who's been you know just dabbing away there with, <laughs> with the mic yeah. off. But um, how did you get involved in, with, with these fellows here? Well, I actually started by watching John Vito's public access show. I saw one time watching television. And he was about, you know... Turn that cell phone off! He was telling people, you know, send in scripts. He was really lying scripts. And I always... A dream job of mine was to be a, f- a filmmaker. And this was my opportunity. And that's why... So I called him up. He called me back, and then he told me about this interview, and that's how it really happened. So uh, you've written how many plays or screenplays over the, over the past couple of, well, years, or since you've started writing? Yes, a couple. Right now, I am working on one. I, like I said, it's, it's not exactly about my life, but it's based on it. Mm-hmm. And it's just a thing that's tr- to my heart that I want to do as a first film. And uh, so I'm hoping it will work well, out. Well, what is your story? I mean, what story is that, that screenplay or, or teleplay getting across? It's getting across basically having compassion and understanding for people who are different, really. Because, mm-hmm. you know, everybody is different. And, you know, sometimes people are too judgmental of people. And I've always had to deal with that in my life. So it's just it's a big movie I want to make. What do you do, by the way? What's your, your day job or, or et cetera? Honestly, right now I'm, I don't. Ha- I'm not working right now. I, I had worked for a company, a shipping company, mm-hmm. but uh, right now I had 
left that job recently because it wasn't working out. Okay. But now I'm, you know, this is a career move I'd like to make if possible, making films. Best of luck with that. Now, um, John DeVito, just want to talk to you a little bit more still about, um, I mean, okay, so you've got the show and you have some camera equipment and you have editing equipment over at um, some at your house and some that you have at um, the Cablevision Studios, be they at Lindbrook or Woodbury or, right. or whatever. So, but how do you go from just saying, okay, um, sending your, your script, sending your stuff to actually making okay. a film? Let me run this by you. For all you people who listen to Connecticut, New York, wherever you heard, it's very simple. It's very easy. Uh, I'll give it to you simply. Nineteen in the in the last century. By the way, we're in the twenty first. At the turn of the century, when Hollywood was made, in the in the beginnings, they said, "Give me a dollar a page." Now, what does that mean? Back then, they would give you a dollar for every page. For every ten minutes, that was a dialogue. Okay? So, if you had ten pages, that was ten dollars. If you had twenty pages, that was twenty dollars. Mm-hmm. If you had thirty pages, so finally, till you get ninety pages, that's ninety. that's ninety dollars. Right now, if you write a script, every page you can, can every page you write, you make it one minute. That's, that minute is one dollar. Okay? That's how simple it is. You take that page, and I told John how to do it. You read the page, and you take a clock, a, a stopwatch, and you read one minute into that. If it's, if it's a little long, it's okay. But it has to be precisely ten minutes, because that's how you make and write a script out. I got the cable vision book here. Now, this is radio, and you don't see it unless you get to see my show out here on Long Island. Actually, I'm in the, in the Woodbury thing. I've shown this book a hundred times. They show you how to make a, a script, how to write scripts out and how to things like that. Now, let's say you write a script. You get the props. I have four cameras right now. I have one with me right now, which is my shop, which does several uh, digital effects to it. Now, you bring the scripts in, you get the props, we go anywhere. We go into a park. We go into radios. We do anything. The more natural you are, the more natural the movie's going to be. Now, we can do it in black and white, which is getting to be the big thing. We can do it in color, which is getting to be even better. And once we go to the, uh, what do you call, the labs, they, they enhance it. They put things on there. Okay? Mm-hmm. Now, to make a good movie, you can do it for less than $5,000. I'm not making this up, all right, people? Let me give you a short story. Mm-hmm. Blair Witch Project, they made that movie on $30,000. The kids who went through that thing, they had regular camcorders like I have. They went through the labs, everything else. The picture grossed the first time around. Domestically, fifty million dollars. Internationally, one hundred million dollars. They did it the second time around. Total, five hundred million dollars. Wait, okay. what, what, what? The total you mean for both movies? Was for both movies, right? Five hundred million dollars around the world. Blair Witch. Blair Witch. It's a tug with the Blair huh. Witch Project. One and Blair Witch Project Two, five hundred million, million dollars. dollars, and they did it for less than thirty thousand dollars. You can make a movie less than five, and if you hit the right kind of distributors, you hit the right kind of labs. Who knows where it's going to take you? All you have to do is sit down, and we can go over it. And if anybody tells you you can't make that, that's a big lie. That is a big lie. You can do anything your little heart's desires. I've been in this business on and off for 25 years. I still like it. Well, have you made movies? Right now, I'm doing my TV show. That's my actual thing right now. Have I ever made movies? No, not really. But right now, I have something coming in the wind. That's why I'm looking for people to sponsor. I'm looking for supporters. I'm looking for anybody who wants to watch my show. 
watch my show. My show is on at 12.30 every Saturday uh, on... I think it's channel 20. Along channel 20. Yeah. I, I, even I forget. I get tongue-tied now lately. <laughs> uh, channel 20. And that's when my show comes on. And I, and I sit there and I instruct. Now, don't worry. I look like the short little fat guy you see. But let me tell you something. A lawyer saw my show. You know what he said? What? Take the movie. Take your show and make a movie out of it. I says, why? Public access with a heart. If anybody wants to invest in a movie... Watch the show once, twice, three times, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Even John Ambrosio, who's right across from me, he saw it. He likes the show. John uh, Regret, right over there, he saw the show. Even Dave in the booth over here, he saw my show. Yeah, that's one of the reasons you're, you're physically here. I mean, I, I've seen a couple of episodes, and they're so charming in their way, because you're, you're trying to help people, but it's also very, and very... It's, it's called public access to the you know? Yeah. All right. I hope to be on Dave's show before the end of the year, at least two or three more times, with you know new guests and things like that, and uh, updates. And uh, well, I I hope there's stuff to update. I mean, I hope you start getting rolling and you get a project together or or a couple of you know the way Hollywood works. There's always three or four different things in the pipeline and stuff. But uh, before we close out, I just want to make sure everybody knows where they can catch all this stuff. So remind us, uh, John McGrath, about your your men's forum is on when? It's on uh, Monday night. In uh, Suffolk County, okay. it's in it's on Friday night in Nassau County. Uh, those are both Channel Twenty. Cool. And we're on. I think. Uh, well, you you wouldn't have the uh, viewing audience here anyway. For uh, Manhattan Neighborhood Network on uh, Wednesday afternoons at four thirty. Right. And actually, I think even if you don't get Manhattan Neighborhood Network in Long Island, which you wouldn't, I think you can go to the MNN uh, website and watch it uh, streaming there. I'm not sure, but I, I think they have that capability. And uh, so. John, you're just going to be keeping writing, or, or what? What else is in your life right now? Well, right now, uh, John Ambrosio. Yeah. yeah, right now, this time, I'm also during the summer planning to take a course doing nurses assisting. It's a job, you know, where you help people in need, and that I've always been interested in. But uh, you know, at the same time, this career, hope potential for filmmaking, opportunity for work side, I definitely like to do. Well, so. how, uh, do you want people to contact you if, in case they have projects or, or want to share stuff? Is there a, do you want to give an email out? or? or? Sure. Uh, my email is moviemaniac, actually. <laughs> uh, at, uh, actually, it's moviemaniac12004. That's 12004 at yahoo.com. Movie Maniac 12004 at yahoo.com. And finally, John DeVigo, you have a zillion uh, different contacts things, so give them all. All right. I have my thing. Uh, it's called Fifth Avenue Video, 244 Fifth Avenue, Suite C240, New York, New York, 1001. Here's the phone number. You can get me 24 hours a day. I'll get back to you. 212-726-0441. Fax number, 212 212- Six seven nine twenty three ten. I'll give you the phone again. Two one two seven two six zero four four one. Fax number two one two six seven nine twenty three ten. Email. E- uh, my email is patriot three point one at juno dot com. J u n o dot com. Right. 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 And I'll give you the address one more time, 5th Avenue Video, 244 5th Avenue, Suite C240, New York, New York, 1001. I want to hear from you people out there. Let's hear it. Let Bring me. in those scripts. Huh? Let's make a movie. What, are we going to sit on our hands or what? Oh, man. <laughs> well, you've heard it, folks. Three people who are ready to go headlong into the movie and TV industry. John McGrath, John Ambrosio, and, of course, John DeVito. Let's all make a movie, and uh, let's keep listening to the rest of this episode of Days Gone By, which will return right after this.